you know, what a bye week does for you, kind of, you know, hit that refresh button, um, reset, refresh, whatever, clear the mind. Uh, you know, come, coming back, you should be excited about football. So I think the mental part of it, um, you know, you're excited. So you, I think you're going to be locked in. Uh, and, you know, physically, you just got to, you know, depending on what you, how, how you, how you uh, do your bye weeks. If you just completely take the time off and let your body recover or, or are you staying in shape and running and doing some of those things. So, um, you know, regardless, it's you, you come in and, and uh, you got to get focused. You know, you got to get focused right away from, from day zero. And um, today I thought we had a great day one. Yeah, the coaches were certainly pushing you guys today. Uh, is that sort of something they look to do earlier in the week to get you guys going back in, in the flow of things? You know, it's, it's every day. Um, that, that's, that's what they do. They're going to keep us accountable. Um, we're going to keep each other accountable. Um, you know, the, the goal is to get better every day, to get better every week. And uh, especially coming off of a bye week, you want to you wanna show that you could have the time off and still come back and, and be able to play at a high level, compete, and then, uh, you know, and execute. So um, I thought we did a pretty good job of that today. Uh, you know, we can always, you know, there's always room for improvement. So uh, we're going to look to get better tomorrow and day three, be better. And by game day, you know, we should be hitting on all cylinders. Now, noticeably, people are talking about the size of the wide receivers, the young wide receivers with the Argos this year. Not exactly the same type of receiver as you, but it's been noticeable that you've been coaching a lot this year as well. Is that something that you've developed in your game, or has that always been something you've been sort of taking as a, a big point of, of who Chad Owens is? I mean, you know, I think it's just my job as, as, a, as a veteran and, uh, you know, probably the leader of the group now. Um, you know, now, now that, you know, Andre, Andre is, uh, you know, unable to be with us right now, but... Um, you know, it's just, you know, if, if, if they're, if they're not on point and, you know, they're, they're not where they're supposed to be, uh, you know, it, it can hurt us all. So, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be, you know, be quiet, right? I'm going to make sure that, you know, we know what we're doing and, and, you know, in football communication is, is, is a huge thing. Um, you know, the guys, they, they know what they're doing. Uh, they're, you know, they're a smart group of guys, uh, but, you know, communicating, um, lending a, a, a tip here and there, what they do with it is, is up to them. Um, you know, it's it's just the more we can communicate, I think that just you know that just tightens up the trust. You know that you, that you can count on someone, and um, you know that's all I'm trying to build with these guys is is trust, and uh, you know just be a tight knit group, man. And, you know that we can go out there and, and play for each other and continue to make plays. You have to go into every game expecting to win regardless of where you're playing. So um, that's got to be our mindset this week. They're a good football team. And uh, if we don't have that mindset and we don't bring it, you know, they're going to beat us. You know, so we got to be uh, at the top of our game and we just got to make sure we're, 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 we want it more than them at the end. What do your big plays come from quick passes, short screen sorts of things like that where you make a man miss? BC has two very aggressive linebackers in Big Hill and Solomon Oumimian. Is there an advantage there for you and a guy who's that aggressive that you can make something happen out of that? Um, yes, you know, I, I think I like to think that there's always an advantage somewhere. You know, you can always look at the defense and find, you know, some loopholes. Um, they are a great defense led by those two guys in the middle. Um, you know, but it's just it's up to us. That, like I said, it comes down to execution. That's what the coaches afford it. They're gonna game plan them, and um, you know, when I get a chance to make a play, I'm gonna try my best to make a play. You know, uh, and like we got we got five, six playmakers. You know, including the running backs across the board. So we, uh, you know, I'm not worried about you know about what they're doing. It's 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 about what 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 we do. Every week we turn on the film, and. We we point out things like look, see, if we'd have just if we'd have did this, if we'd have got our depth here, if we'd have lined up correctly here, you know, it's we can see the big picture on 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 um, where the success can come from, and uh, it's on execution, man. And uh, you know, like I said, every defense has, you know, their openings, and you know, although they're a great defense, um, you know, we're gonna find some openings, and it's just on us to 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 make a play when we get a chance. Thanks very much. Good luck this weekend. Thanks.